Twitter shares soared as much as 11% Monday on reports that CEO Jack Dorsey was stepping down after six years at the helm. His time as CEO was a period in which the platform's stock heavily lagged the broader Nasdaq 100 index and Twitter's board of directors has unanimously appointed Parag Agarwal as CEO and a member of the board effective immediately. Well, here now is Naomi Nix. She's a social media reporter for Bloomberg. Also joining us is Mandeep Singh, Bloomberg Intelligence Senior Technology Analyst. Thank you both for being here. Naomi, I, I want to start with you. Twitter shareholders certainly cheering this news. Earlier in the day today, you followed Twitter closely. Was this a surprise to you? No, I mean, I think there's been questions for some time about Jack Dorsey's tenure at the company. Obviously, he was the CEO of two companies, including Square. Um, there are also questions about, you know, how much time he was spending uh, at the company, um, you know, whether where he was sort of investing resources. And so, you know, the idea, you know, he was he was out once before. And so the idea that that he would take a step down, I don't think is is a complete surprise, um, although obviously it's a significant uh, development for the company at, you know, at a critical time. And I also want to ask uh, Mandeep here if you could come in. So what does that mean now for the future of where the company mm. is going and what the new CEO, uh, what he could do on this to, you know, please investors again? Sure. So, look, I mean, uh, we think uh, this was coming simply because Elliot took a stake last year. Silver Lake also uh, took a stake in Twitter last year. So uh, there was obviously... A We're having a little trouble managing with... Managing the two companies. Yeah, Mandeep, go ahead. We just lost you for one second. So just jump back in. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I was just saying that, uh, you know, uh, I, uh, what Parag can bring to the table is essentially, uh, you know, speed up their product development efforts around what they're doing with AI initiatives, or even for that matter, uh, you know, what uh, Twitter could do with the metaverse, because at the end of the day, social media will evolve into something new, as we know. And, uh, you know, the fact that both Facebook and Snapchat are going after the metaverse, Twitter has to figure out a way to evolve its product, whether it's on the AI side of things or the metaverse side of things. And that's where I think elevating Parag is probably a good move. Well, to that point, Mandeep, I, I gotta ask, uh, Parag, he's only tweeted, I counted five times since September. He doesn't seem like somebody who uses the platform until today. He had only 25,000 followers. He's been at the company for, for over a decade. Should that concern investors? Well, so he's a product guy. And uh, I think investors will be slightly disappointed that they didn't have somebody from the outside come in as a CEO simply because, uh, you know, Parag won't uh, bring in any drastic changes to the company's strategy. Our view is look, this will be sort of an extension of what the company was already doing. And they sort of missed an opportunity here to bring in somebody externally to really think big and, you know, think big picture in terms of where the company could go in the next five, 10 years. So uh, sort of a disappointment. And I agree with you that, you know, he's not somebody who is prolific in terms of engaging with media or the investors. And Naomi, I'll bring you back in here. Why couldn't Twitter monetize uh, as much as some of its other rivals could, for instance, in terms yeah, of I mean, engagement? I, I, you know, I, I think that's the major question. Obviously, Facebook um, has been able to really build on its digital advertising basis with targeted advertising um, in a way, um, you know, that Twitter hasn't been able to reach. Um, you know, we've also seen some sort of interesting trends along demographic lines um, that I think are remain challenges for Twitter. We, you know, we have rivals like Snapchat and TikTok who are really grabbing hold of, of that Gen Z age cohort that, um, you know, is really attractive to advertisers who are, who are focused on, on building links between, um, you know, with that future generation. And so there was sort of a, um, I think there is a, a number of issues that that Twitter, you know, bottom line has to um, move more quickly uh, to build up that business. And, you know, this, you know, to Mandeep's point, this new CTO is coming from the inside. And so the question is, how much can an insider change company culture 
um, in a way that, uh, you know, dramatically alters its course. Yeah, Naomi, you bring up a really good point, and it, it makes me think about Twitter's recent history or even Twitter's extended history. If you think about the product over the last decade, the core Twitter product today is the core Twitter product that we saw more than a decade ago, say for double the number of characters, Mandeep, that you're actually able to put into a tweet. We don't say the same thing about Facebook. We don't necessarily say the same thing about Snap, though its core product is really similar. Uh, TikTok is a new invention. Talk to us about innovation, Mandeep, because investors are always looking for innovation. So what does Twitter need to do to get that investor excitement? Yeah, so clearly Twitter missed the boat when it comes to you know some of the newer form of uh, engagement that we have seen with Clubhouse or you know Substack, and uh, even though they've tried to made up for that by acqu acquiring companies, smaller competitors in that space, it really hasn't made a difference in terms of monetization. So uh, I think Twitter's track record on M and A isn't that great either. So uh, you know the fact that they are making this management change, I would have thought you know they would bring in somebody who would be good in terms of thinking of you know product acquisitions mm -hmm. and really fill up that gap that they have in terms of uh, you know the vision uh, to take Twitter to the next level. All right, we're going to have to leave it there. That's Mandeep Singh from Bloomberg Intelligence. Also joining us, Naomi Nix, Bloomberg social media reporter. I know both of you are super busy uh, covering this Twitter news, so thank you so much for sticking around and taking the time. Really appreciate it.